Pretty soon, this could be the site all along local roads. People in cars that are driving themselves. Earlier this year, one Gwinnett County city announced plans to install a driverless vehicle lane. Channel 2's Steve Gelbach shows us what these cars can do and what it will take to get more of them out there on the road. Driving around Midtown, this Tesla can see the road with all its standard cameras and sensors. If you look in front of me here, it's actually seeing the lane markings ahead of us. Besides local regional tech and transportation officials at today's summit, by the Atlanta Regional Commission taking test drives, Peter Ashley of Applied Information also gave me a ride. On these normal roadways. Mostly so, without putting his hands on the wheel, using an app that syncs to about two dozen traffic signals outfitted along North Avenue from Pont City Market to Georgia Tech in a living lab for autonomous cars. This traffic signal is going to change in about five seconds. Get ready for green. And there and she told us. <laughs> <laughs> and the signal goes green. The corridor could have self-driving shuttle buses running by the end of the year as part of ARC's vision of the future. So we're going to have to really emphasize maintaining our roads as well. More self-driving cars means keeping striping on the pavement crisp, clear, and kept up. Also upgrading traffic signals. The vehicle can respond to the signals along the corridor. And it really is a cutting-edge example of some of the features that we're going to see widely implemented in the future. The cars, though, still can't see red lights. You're still having to, to brake. I have to brake for red lights at the moment. But it will brake on its own if there's another car in front of you. It can be a strange feeling at first to go hands-free and let the car take over. You're not braking at all. This is the car doing everything for me. So if you look over here, it's actually seeing the car ahead of us. The ARC says in five years, you may not recognize your commute with new technology making it much safer and quicker. In Midtown Atlanta, Steve Gelbach, Channel 2 Action News.